To be able to filter or sort your records, just go ahead and click on the drop down arrow if you want to sort your records or filter them by the field here, essential oils. So for example, click on it. Let's go ahead and uncheck all of them by default and say we just want to see cinnamon and clove. Mmm, Christmas smells. Go ahead and click OK and it just displays the two. And notice that whatever field I filter by, you get this little funnel. So that way when you look at it, you're like, oh my gosh, this is all we got. Just look on any one of these drop down arrows and make sure that it doesn't have a funnel because if it does and you want to unfilter it, and then we'll do that in just a minute. But we can see that it's being filtered by this field. As you recall in an earlier training video, we added the total row and the cell here is not giving us the total, it's giving us, click on the drop down arrow, the average between those two cells that are being displayed and then the total for those two cells for cinnamon and clove and then on order. Now let's go ahead and click off and if you want to unfilter this go ahead and click on the filter well the drop down arrow next to the filter and go ahead and check all so we can see all and click okie dokie and we're back to where we started. You can do multiple filters so if I want to do it for category instead let's go ahead and uncheck all and let's just see antibacterial, anti-cancer, click OK and then between the two, if I want something that's less than, like, let's say $30, then I can click on the price and go down to number filters and say less than, opens it up and it says is less than, we'll type in 30 and click okie dokie, and it's cinnamon. And you can see that we got double filters here, so it's filtering by category and by price. So if I go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and say that I want to clear the filter from price, then we're back to just filter by category, click on the drop down arrow and clear it from there. Next, if you want to sort them like essential oils, like by this field here, essential oils, all the records, and we've got the C's, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it's already sorted, but if I want to sort it the other way, descendingly, click on the drop down arrow, there's A to Z, how about if we go Z to A? So it was at the bottom of the alphabet, well, towards the end of it, which is Lang Lang, that's at the top and it's sorting descending back up to the beginning of the alphabet down below with the C's. And you can see up here that you have a little down arrow next to the down triangle showing you that it's descending. And if you want to go ahead and clear that, click on the drop down arrow, go ahead and go to sort by color, do custom sort, and there's the sort right here. And you can change it if you want to go back to ascending, click okie dokie, and now it has the arrow pointing up. So it leaves the arrow there and if you don't want to see the arrow, then click on the drop down arrow, go down to sort by color, custom sort, and delete the level and click okie dokie. And it only removes the arrow, not the sort. For example, if I go ahead and sort it, descending again, and then I don't want to see that sort here, and I click on the drop down arrow, go down to sort by color, custom sort, phew, and I delete this level and click OK. It's still sorting descendingly, but it just got rid of that little descending arrow next to the drop down triangle here and so keep that in mind. If you think that you're removing a sort, you are of a sort removing the little symbol there on that little drop down triangle or arrow, but not the actual sorting within the database here or the table. And speaking of which, if you want to do more than one sort, for example, let's sort everything by category, click on the drop down arrow, go down to sort by color to do a custom sort, and click on the drop down arrow and say you want to do it by category A to Z. And after it sorts it by category and it groups them all together, all the calmings, all the antiparasitic, antivirals, let's go ahead and click OK so we can look at it first. Then we can do a consecutive sort or an additional sort that after it has the antiparasitics together, then we can go ahead and sort it by, let's say, the essential oil's name. Now, for the alphabet, C comes before O, so right now, after it finds duplicates, it looks like it's sorting descending. So I can go ahead and do a second sort, click on the drop down arrow, go down to sort by color to custom sort, add another level, because after it sorts by the category, then we want to sort it by the essential oils, the name, and we'll do it ascending, click okie dokie. And so you can see now instead of oregano before clove, now it's ascending, after it groups it over here by category, and then it comes over here and says within that group, let's go ahead and sort it by the essential oils name. And then to go ahead and clear all that, click on the drop down arrow, sort by color, custom sorts, and go ahead and delete your levels. And then delete that level and click okie dokie. It removes the levels, but again, it didn't remove the sorts. So if you want to get back to the way you had it originally, where it's by the name Essential Oils Ascending, then you'll have to click on the drop down arrow and do A to Z. And then if you don't like that little arrow there, then go ahead and click on the drop down arrow to sort by color to custom sort 
and it says sort by color. It doesn't allow us to choose a color to sort by because we don't have any colors set up. These are banded rows, even though you could say technically they are colors. They're not actually a colored cell, but a banded row, so we can't mess with that. But I digress. Let's go back here and delete the level, click OK, so we get rid of that little arrow pointing up for ascending, and we don't have to see that to distract us, if it does distract you. And we're back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.